you're about to see some weird stuff. Borderline illegal. If you guys still want to watch this video, make sure you relax, sit down, and enjoy. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. My name is Rusty. This is gonna be a good one, fellas. We are outside of a delivery beside Miami, Florida. We are full, packed out. We about to deliver here in about 30 minutes. And I got a surprise for you. This video is gonna be a little different. I'm obviously not gonna get a load back because there's no loads out of Miami area. I do live in Jacksonville, Florida, about 320 miles away from here. When we're done delivering, we are going to a salvage auction. I have bought a total wrecked Tesla. And guess what? Where are we putting this wrecked Tesla? We are putting it inside my dry van. I haven't seen a video out that people explain how they do this and it's a little bit difficult to explain but I will be showing you here in this video. Let's go ahead and back up to this dock and offload and go to the salvage auction. we are here I got the paperwork there's the sign copart and it's not here so <laughs> I have to drive around the corner here to their bigger lot that's where the Tesla is where am I they're probably so confused they're like why is this dry van pulling in here where all these wrecked cars are <laughs> oh man actually I just thought about this are they even gonna put this thing inside my drive and I'm heck of risking all my time here I mean I'm pretty sure it's fine right we're about to find out. <laughs> Should have got my camera out, but this guy was like, are you about to load a car in that? Yeah, I'm about to load a car in this. We're about to try. There she is. I don't sir. There's a spindle that comes with this thing too that was laying right underneath it. Uh, whenever we put, just pick it up and just slide it right in and then we'll, okay, if you can grab it for me and I'll just throw it in also. It, it was right where you got this car. It was right there underneath it. Is it right there? I didn't see the spindle. Where was this car at? It was right here? It's, I see it laying right there. I think that was it. Hold on a second. Woo, woo. No. Oh, what the heck? Oh, man. So there she is, boys. 2023 Tesla. Wrapped up, pretending it's like an expensive car. Man, it is beat up. I don't know what I was thinking. JK, I didn't buy this car. My father bought this car. And he might regret it. I mean, an accident like this, it's really expensive to fix. We do have a problem, though. On the pictures, on the auctions, I'm about to look it up right now. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this or not. On the auction pictures, there was a spindle laying right there propping up this car. And there's probably a bunch of valuable parts on it. He's about to go over there and see where it was and try to get it for me. But it needs to come with the car. I need to call my father to confirm that I'm picking it up and we'll just go from there. Whatever, can't find the spindle and the wheel attached. So it's just going straight in. <laughs> what a picture. <laughs> What the heck am I doing? Oh yeah, noise, noise. That's good, that's good. It's good enough. I don't want it too deep in there, then we can't drag it out. Oh yeah. Appreciate it, bro. 
A lot of people in the comments are gonna ask me, isn't this kind of uh, unsafe? Uh, well, I don't know, I guess it depends on what you guys think is unsafe, right? Because this is pretty safe to me. We're gonna grab it by two sides, one side holding it this way, one side holding it that way, just on three corners, uh, four corners. Well, three corners, the other one's kind of F. But we're gonna try it, and yeah, it's pretty safe. Check it out. One, two, three, four. It's not going anywhere. And this is by Borderline Illegal, what I'm talking about. I'll explain a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead, lock her up, and head out. It's hot. It's in the middle of March. It's like 80 degrees in Miami. What is this country? All right, we got a little problem. The Tesla weighs about 5,000 pounds and I have an airbag here PSI regularly. It's about 20 PSI when it's empty, like 18, but now it's 15. That means it's way too heavy in the tail. I got no load on my drives. It is gonna make it very, very dangerous to drive like this. So, uh, I think you guys know what we're gonna do. This is just like a quick tip for everybody. We're gonna go ahead and release the trailer brake. We're gonna walk over here and we're gonna slide the tandems. We are in Florida, so the laws here are like Mexicali, you know what I'm saying? So we'll slide it about four holes and it's still legal and it's gonna give me a little more, I guess, weight on my drives. That's what I need right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops. Kind of went on the sixth hole. Ah, huh? Actually, how much, I'm gonna take my measure, measure this, make sure it's not illegal and we're ready to go. Oh, actually, never mind. It's not like I'm gonna pull into the weigh station anyways, right? <laughs> jokes, jokes, DOT, stop, stop, jokes. And like always, I will tell you the price of this load, which, <laughs> you know, is the price of this Tesla that my father has purchased on Copart for. And you guys can tell me in the comments below if we got ripped off or not. We have 280 miles, four hours left. It's not too far, not too far. Oh, I forgot. They were actually bypassing the way station either way because uh, when you're leaving like Miami, West Palm, and you actually pay to go on this toll road, I forgot you bypassed that weight scale. Well, hmm, joke's on you, I guess, or me actually. This toll is probably gonna be expensive. All right, all right, all right. Since we're on the verge of talking about running scales and stuff like that, I think all you guys already seen my short video talking about how I got pulled over jumping the scales. A lot of people had a couple questions where I did the right thing, blah, blah, blah. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go to my short and watch the video and you tell me, did I do the right thing or not? I think I did. It was backed up. I had no choice. I'm not causing an accident. It is what it is. Getting off the turnpike was pretty easy. I had to get my drugs. Everybody knows that. We gotta check on a Tesla though, because sometimes, and I say sometimes, probably not in this case, but sometimes it does shift. Still the same amount of space. I think we're looking good. my pops tell him where to drop this Tesla off this turns also hard I'm trying to do all of it hey I'm pulling up ya tu tam za skoro da izjaju sve davaj davaj a kuda je kuda je vam zadom zdaj o te stavaj ja zad stavaj ja tak i mi je suda vytahovat kuda 
О, окей. Хорошо. Давай. Угу. Well, oh, hopefully the Tesla is still back there, right? Ooh. It's good, it's good, it's good. <laughs> Couldn't wait for me to park. He had to run in there and check. <laughs> Is it there? Oh, it's still here. Wow, okay. Is a spindle in there? This is a little no, it's it's No? Spindle, right? Oh, man. Okay, okay, let's untie her. Windshield cracked, is the sunroof cracked? Because if it's broken, then parts only, because it's like 20 grand for this roof. Yeah. You gotta pull it out a little bit and then forklift it off somehow. But check this out. <laughs> Whenever I bet that it was a woman driving, but this is there's an imprint of a license plate. You can barely tell. But it's pretty cool. Alright, let's go. I'll try to lift it up like this. If not, we have to do plan B. Da normal. Ah, chas, chas, chas. Da. Okay. Spread. Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. Совается на на правой стороне, пап, совается. Hold on. Um, it's It's tilting. It's tilting. Let's try to get it up. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look how this thing is bending. The battery is so heavy. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Very slow, straight. No, 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 you're gonna hit the drive. No, no, no. Very slowly, it's bending. This steel is bending. Straight, straight wheel, straight. Go back, no, 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 назад, назад. Да. Окей, drop. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. That was sketchy. It's bending. We got it. Let's put it. Let's put it where we need to. Whew, it's heavy. It's bending it really hard though. I don't know if I don't know. If that extension thing is gonna survive this Tesla. He's already too excited. Any gold? Any money? No. What happened to the plastic? What? Sure. Look at that plastic. This plastic wind do set the mold in this case. From airbag? No, no, it's an airbag, very talk new. We're getting no power to it. You can tell this used to be right here. So look how far I went in. Brand new battery. Okay, let's hook it up and see if we get some power because we're wondering how to open up the trunk. Oh, something's clicking. Let's get the trunk. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, there's some stuff. What do we got? What is this? What? That's from a Chevrolet GMC or something. <laughs> That's not a, t I can tell right away it's from a Duramax or something. <laughs> well, they gave us some extra parts. Okay, there's the plastic piece. Uh, Wait, where is this from? It's a dashboard. It's from the dashboard piece? Yeah, Any more gold? <gasps> Yo! Nice, Paul. <laughs> what is this? Garage opener. No. Let's find his house. Let's find his registration. Yeah, we're gonna need to keep this. Why is it flat black? It's nice. It's a white set. Okay, let's check. They hide all the drugs over here. Oh yeah, oh, the adapter port. It's adapter. If you want to use some other charger. Oh man, salvage title now. Dang it. Yeah, yeah. Let's close it so we don't have to tape it up. Oh. I think that only opens through the screen. Yeah, let me let me open it. No, I'm I'm clean. I'm clean. I'm clean. Oh yeah, 
Oh, oh it's working. Why is it purple? Uh, electric system reduced. Okay. How do we get inside the car? Click. Click. Uh, um. What? Uh, Dad. It says this car has. Wait, is that how much state of charge? Where's the speedometer on here? I think this thing only has like a thousand miles, he said. Well, he's excited. We also found some Gucci glasses, women's glasses. I'll take this as payment for delivering this thing. It's pretty nice. It might be real, actually. It says, <laughs> it says Gucci, it says made in Italy, Gucci, and then there's some sort of number. I'm not really sure. The front end is actually not bad at all. The frame rails, you can tell they're right here and right here. This is bent in really hard, but actually they unscrew. So these little couplers get changed out and this new rebar gets put in. What is this called? Not rebar, what is this called? A rebar. A rebar, that's what it's called? It. Well, yeah, and it's not bad. The worst part is by this door. So they hit, you know, there looks like a big wheel here. So I'm guessing semi-truck wheel. That's what I'm guessing. If somebody knows who's this car belonged to in or around West Palm Beach, maybe Jupiter, Florida, let me know. Let them contact me because we're missing a key. Uh, you know how to start this car. It comes with like a little plastic card to start it up. There's power to it and stuff. Copart said this car had 1,600 miles. 2023 with 1,600 miles. This thing is brand new. We found the dealer slip to it. They looks like they paid 43000 for this thing. And it is just a Model 3 rear-wheel drive, not all-wheel drive. Which is actually good because since it was wrecked in the front, we have no drive unit in the front. So less axles, less things to break. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. There's a um, junkyard going on here, I know. <laughs> if you guys know who I am and what I do around here, you would know that this is all normal. I'm gonna clean up here and I'm gonna end this video. But I think some of you guys that are still here till the end, OG subscribers, I know who you guys are. I see you in the comments. You guys wanna know the price that my father has purchased this for. He didn't tell me not to say it, so I'm gonna say it, right? With auction's fee, with everything, my free delivery, obviously, it cost him 8300 which is a lot for some people because it's a lot of money for a salvage wrecked Tesla. But it's kind of brand new, right? A thousand miles. What I know about these cars is Rich Rebuilds is gonna buy my battery pack if we're gonna part this thing out for probably 13 grand, right Rich? Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna buy this from me. Also, might part it out, might fix it. I might give you guys details in the end. I appreciate it, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm dirty, I'm tired, I'm going home. Deuces.